Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the game Cosmic Colonies. I'll be explaining the basic game, but at the end of this video I'll very quickly explain how you play the advanced game as well. But let's start at the beginning. You are going to play 8 rounds and then the game is over. Then you score points and whoever has the most is the winner. You get all your points at the end of the game. But again, you play for 8 rounds and then it ends. If you have the most points, you are the winner. You get points for 3 things. You score for how much you've covered up your own player board. You score points for your own objective card. And you get 15 bonus points if you have placed all the five different big shapes, the ones that you can get from the main board. The objective card shows this. In this case mine says that at the end of the game I get two bonus points for every one of these pieces I have on my own player board. And I get one bonus point for every one of these pieces. Points for covering up your own board is written on the player mat in front of you. There are four pieces of ground. For each type of ground you check this overview for how much points you get. Did you cover up all the spaces that show this? Or is one still visible or two? Just go over this at the end of the game. Moving on, what is a round? A round is when every player has played two cards. And then you get everything ready for the next round. So each round you will get two turns. That brings us to the next point. What do you do when it's your turn? Basically you start every round together. Every player picks one card from their hand and places it face down on the table. When every player has chosen a card, you all flip it over to show it to everyone. Whoever has the lowest number in the top corner goes first. Whoever has the second lowest number goes second and so on. This number up here determines when it will be your turn. And then, when it is your turn, you can do one thing and you have two options to choose from. You can either pay the resources that you have to take one of the pieces from the main board and place it on your own board. Or you can take resources from the main board. Whatever is next to the main board is called the supply, but when it's your turn you take the resources from the main board. You always have to choose one type, so only yellow or only purple. And you can take up to as many resources as the, as the other number on the card says that you played. For example, if you had played this card, that means you can take a maximum of that many resources. As I've said, you put everything on your own player board and you always put it here. As you can see, you may never have more than 9 resources. But again, when it's your turn, you can either take a piece or take resources. When you choose to take a piece, you also take that from the main board and the price for each piece is written right next to it. As you can see, there's only one. So if one player takes it, no one else can take a piece like that this round. Then you have to place it on your own board. The only rules are that you have to place it within the boundaries and you always have to place it next to another piece. It has to touch at least one bit. You can't just place it anywhere on the side or have the corners touch. And that's it. 
It is possible that the card you played has a bonus text on it. In that case, you can do whatever it says. The card will speak for itself. When every player has had one turn, you do all of this again. Everyone picks a card, then you all reveal the card, and in player order, you all take your turn. When every player has had two turns, the round is over. You refill the resources by putting new ones on the main board. If there are still some there, just leave them. You always place as many resources as there are players. But keep in mind that every space has a limit. It's written on the board. You also refill the empty spaces of the pieces. You can see which ones are empty and just take a new piece from the supply. And don't forget to move the round marker forward one space. There's one last thing you do before you start the next round. You have two cards in front of you because you played them this round. And you have two cards still in your hand. You keep those. But the cards that you used go to the player to your left. So every player passes the two used cards clockwise. You will get the two used cards from the player on your right. If you are with less than two players, this works a little differently. Just look that up in the rulebook. And done! This is how you play the basic game of Cosmic Colonies. Eight rounds and then it's time to score. As I've said, I'll now quickly explain how you play the advanced game. To be honest, it's not that complicated and in my opinion more fun. For the basic game you use the cards that show this on the back. For the advanced game you use the deck of cards that shows this on the back. The setup will be exactly the same. You'll have four cards of these in your hand. The only thing you have to do is use the other side of your own player board. The one that shows three cogwheels on it. Just like the basic game, you get to play two cards. But in the advanced game, the first card is called the day. And the second card is called the night. Each card shows you in the middle what bonus you get for when you play it during the day. And each card shows at the bottom what bonus you get for when you play it during the night. In case it says Day Ability Plus, that simply means that you get the Day Bonus plus what's written there for the night. Also, at the end of the game during scoring, there is one piece of ground that you don't get points for for covering it up but you get one point for when it's still visible. Just look that up on your own player board or the rulebook. And that's all. That's the advanced game. Whether you do that one or the basic one, I hope this video made you understand the game well enough and that you'll enjoy it when you play it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.